Well, I'm going to tell you, first of all, Carol is so naive. I'm going to tell you, Carol Jones Walker. You ought to change your name to Carol Jones, but Walker. But, so I shouldn't have said that. Erase that. Anyway, Carol's got a border, and I've heard so much about her, and she's hurt so many people's feelings, even my great-grandchildren. She's hurt their feelings. Cole goes over there, and she has something to say to him. And she calls Carol constantly if she's with me and we're together and um, for her to come home. And then what really went into my subconscious the other day was Johnny went to wash his clothes because he was going to Vegas to see Curtis. And... Um, she said, why is Johnny washing his clothes when I need to wash mine? You ever heard of something so ignorant and selfish in your life? Well, so yesterday, after Christian and I picked Johnny up at the airport, and um, I went over there to get my walking cane because I always lose one or the other. Anyway, um, I knocked on the door, and nobody came to the door. Because I knew all of them had drank the night before and had hangovers. And um, so I knocked a little bit harder to get in. I didn't care. I did knock hard on the door. I walked in there and she gave me the look of death. Like she hated me and what am I doing there? All right, I didn't say nothing. And so... Terry said she thought the walking cane was in Johnny's room. What it was doing in Johnny's room, I'll never know. Because I didn't leave it in Johnny's room. I left it in the dining room. So when I started to walk off to go towards Johnny's room, I could feel something in my back. I turned around and she was had given me the look of death. And I said, what in the fuck are you looking at me like that? And she said, just um, calm down, calm down. I said, my fucking ass, I'm not calming down. I said, um, I could tell you don't want me here and you're staring at me or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I said, if you don't quit giving me a look of death, I'm going to beat your effing ass. And she said, no, I'm going to beat your effing ass. And I, I said, no, you won't. And I said, I said, you touch me and I'll call 911. No, you touch me and I'll call 911. I said, listen, lady, I'm senior citizen and um, you touch me, your ass will go to jail and you know that. So anyway, I said, to hell with you. And I walked on to get my um, walking cane and Terry couldn't find it. Then she looked under the bed, Johnny's bed, and it was under there. So she gave me my walking cane and there are two doors to Johnny's bedroom, and she was standing in the one going towards the bathroom. And I said, move, I'm leaving. And she said, no, I'm not moving. And she said, you go out that other door. I said, listen here, you effing bitch. I said to move, and you better move. And I said, this is not your house, this is my daughter's house. And this is the first damn time I've been here since you moved in. And I said, move. She said, no. So I had to push her out the way with my shoulder. And then when I got to the door, I said, you the most craziest, effingest bitch I've ever met in my life. You are very cruel, very mean, and very hateful. You are a bitch. And Christian come up from the car, Grandmama, what's going on? And Terry said, I can't take no more. I'm going home. She said, I'm not taking sides with nobody. I said, well, I'm sorry, Terry. And um, I said, when I got to the yard, uh, also, I said more than that if y'all want to know the truth. And she said a lot to me. And I wanted to pull her. Oh, I want to tell you something, Lisa, if you're listening at this. Your eyes look like you got demons in them. Are you from hell? Where did you come from? We don't know nothing about you. We don't know where your ass come from or nothing. But I tell you what, you your eyes are pathetic. 
you got something in your house that's deep rooted and you could better get it out of there before you die and bust hell wide open because that's where you going as mean as you are. And yesterday, I was just as mean as you were. And I was ashamed of myself for cursing and carrying on the way I did, but you deserved every bit of it. I'm glad I don't pay your electricity bill no more. I paid it for what, three years? Well, I'm glad I don't pay it no more because your house was ice cold. Lewis had to wear a jacket over there. And you letting that girl get away with murder by keeping your house cold? No wonder you working umpteen jobs is what I call it. I said, this is pathetic. And you can't have no friends, no relatives, no nothing. You don't have no peace. That woman gets upset if you're not there at a certain time, blah, blah, this and that. And I'm going to tell you, you got a squatter. You got a woman that's got all her furniture in there and she wants your furniture out and she's there for life, honey. You better up a rent and tell her she don't up the rent. You go throw her furniture out or sell her furniture and get what money you can because she's going to be paying the light bill. You $500, lady, you could go up 100 so you better go up 100 and pay Carol because she can't afford that light bill, and you killing my daughter because she has to work all the time to get away from your ass. It ain't then what? If Carol wants to live like that, so be it. I'll never go over there again because if I go over there, I'm going to do something I'm not supposed to do, and I'm going to be in prison, and I'm an old lady. You could look at me and tell I'm an old lady. But that woman was going to beat my ass. She didn't have enough respect for an old woman to say, I'm going to my room. I'll pay for that room. I'm going to my room and stay in my room. Even she was told, look, you a boarder. And you got roost of the whole house. Carol is like she's your boarder. You tell her what to do, and if you tell Johnny what to do, I will cut your ass. There ain't no doubt about it, Lisa. I feel sorry for you. You need help? Sure, I know I need help. I've needed help all my life. But you're the one that need the most help of any person I've ever seen in my life. And if you want to come over to my son's house, I'll meet you in the yard. We'll have a free-for-all. Or I'll go over to Carol's and we'll have a free-for-all. But when you finish with my back... Because I'm going to beat your ass, but I know you're going to hurt my back. You're going to jail. Bye. Her eyes, I've never in my life looked into anybody's eyes and seen hell. She has got demons in her eyes. She's got no, um, she don't have any expression. They're vague. They're like, it's like she's been dead and somebody dug her up out the grave and she come out the grave. That's what her eyes look like. I don't know what's happened to her through life. Or maybe she's from another planet. Or maybe she's from hell. Who knows? Or Anyway, all I know is have mercy on that woman. Because she needs, she needs help before she dies and goes to hell. And I know I got to straighten up. If I don't straighten up, I'm a bus hell wide open. I don't want to see her in hell, and I don't want to go to hell. But she's going, because that woman's got hell in her eyes.